Welcome to another episode of Dakota Story Nights. Tonight we're going to be pursuing one of the most sought after treasures of astrophotography, and that is a perfect polar alignment, the holy grail as it were, or the golden fleece of astrophotography. The initial alignment can save you a lot of time in achieving a perfect polar alignment. Now there are many different ways to achieve this. I've tried a few of them, but the most simplest method that I've come up with that usually gets me to within one degree is to open up a program like Stellarium, which is a free download online, or any other planetary program for a tablet or a smartphone, and pull up your location. In Stellarium, I have it up for here in Rapid City, South Dakota. Have your scope pointed roughly to the north. With the program opened, click on the equatorial grid and now as you can see right here is the celestial pole and as we zoom in it's a little light out right now so it's not showing Polaris that well but right here is Polaris but here is the celestial pole because the true celestial pole is a little bit off from Polaris. Now this shifts throughout the night so depending upon what time of the day or what time of the evening that you're imaging at this will rotate and that's the beauty behind it so whenever it gets dark and you get ready to do your rough alignment you just open up your planetary program put in the equatorial grid it will show you where true north is and now with your red dot finder or with a finder with an illuminated crosshair you will put your crosshair or red dot approximately that distance and below Polaris and with practice you can get pretty good at it and I usually get like I say within one degree it's important that you have your red dot or your crosshair illuminated finder pretty well synced with the crosshair that appears on your photographic instrument or camera uh, whenever you do a focus and uh, frame usually they come with a crosshair so you want those to sync up pretty well and that's a pretty easy process by going to a bright star pulling down images and then syncing that with your red dot so at this point all we need to do is get underneath the red dot and make the appropriate adjustments in right ascension and declination so if you like you could turn the laptop or tablet whatever you have so that you could use it as a reference point. Turn on your red dot in my case and get underneath it and you can see Polaris and then I usually start off with the azimuth, turn it one way or another and then adjust for altitude or the latitude you'd be adjusting for the latitude of your location and once you get an approximation that's it and you're done. It doesn't require a polar scope or any other device or any other software. So, I hope that helps you out. Thanks for watching Dakota Snorri Nights. Clear skies and wish me luck for tonight's imaging.